welcome to the second in the series of masterclass videos for Stringlab. So let's dive into some basic functionality. And the first place I want to start is the preset manager. Now the preset manager is where you load and save presets. We can also import and export presets using the preset manager. To access the preset manager, we click this button at the top of the screen and it will open up a window. And this window is split into three different sections. On the left, we have the preset banks. In the middle, we have groups. And on the right hand side, we have presets. So as I switch between uh, groups here, we can see the presets in the right hand side. And clicking on any of these presets will load the preset. And you'll see that reflected in the preset manager button at the top of the screen. Now the program manager will stay open allowing you to browse the presets and uh, choose a preset of choice and once you're satisfied with your selection you can press the preset manager button again and the preset manager will disappear. You can save presets using the preset manager. Generally you'll select the user bank and then one of the uh, predefined groups and then hit the save button on the toolbar but in this case I'm going to create a new bank uh, of my own uh, called my bank and you'll notice when we create that bank it's got no groups so the first thing we need to do is add group create a group and uh, in this case I'm going to call it pads and then I'm going to press the save button on the toolbar and actually give my preset a name. Now you're free to create as many banks as you want and, as, and put as many groups in those banks as you want. And as you can see from the buttons at the top of this window we can uh, delete and rename banks and groups as we wish. Now if we want to export uh, either presets or banks we can do that by bringing up the uh, files app and uh, having that as a slide over window. Now when we open the program manager we're free to uh, click and drag either individual presets uh, from the uh, right hand side of the preset manager into the, um, the files app. Now if we've created a whole bank of presets then it is also possible to drag the actual bank uh, directly into the files app and you'll notice that when we drag and drop the the, the bank we, we create a folder which is browsable and inside that folder you'll see all your groups and your presets. So this is an ideal way of backing up your banks you could compress that bank and then send it via email or back up to your PC or Mac. Now if you want to import either of those uh, files, the, either the preset or the whole bank, we can simply do the reverse. We can drag the preset into the right hand side column, which will import the preset into the selected bank and group. Or we can drag the whole bank over to the banks column and that will import the entire bank with all its groups and presets. And finally to delete a bank just hit the uh, delete bank button with the selected bank and it will be removed. Now alternatively if you don't want to use drag and drop you'll notice that the uh, create bank button has a chevron in the upper right corner. And when we long press that we get two options import and export bank and we can literally um, navigate to uh, the bank that we want to import make sure you enter that bank by clicking on it and then hit the open and that bank will be imported and that's all without drag and drop now one feature that is really really handy uh, is the ability to save favorite presets now you may have noticed that there's a favorites button to the right of the preset manager and when you initially press this button you'll see an error message displayed saying no favorites found or available. Now this works hand in hand with the preset manager and the way it works is we um, browse to a favorite preset and just simply double tap that preset. Uh, when we double tap you'll see um, 
a little star appear next to that preset. So if I go on and star a couple of presets in that group and then uh, go to the pads group and uh, and select another one in here, in there. If we close the preset manager and hit the favorites button now, you'll see that they're listed uh, in this dialog. Now this is a nice way to have a quick uh, a quick access list for all your favorite presets. Now, if you're one of the people that has lots of banks and wants to access a preset by name, there is a quick way of doing that. And the easiest way is to uh, long press the preset manager button. You'll notice it has a little chevron in the top corner, meaning there's a long press function there. And I can simply type the name of the preset or part of the preset that I want. And uh, this will stay open, letting you switch between presets. So I, it's a scrolly list as well, so um, I'll just look for a list of base presets. And we can go on and audition those using this window. Uh, you get, hit the cancel button to close the window. Now I want to take a look at the uh, easiest way to actually create your own presets. And anyone that's been through the Masterclass 1 video will be it will become apparent that this synthesis technique needs some learning. But the easy way to get yourself into creating presets is using the randomized preset dialog, which is available by pressing this little dice button. Now the four buttons at the top of this dialog uh, represent uh, sections of the interface that we can randomize. The first two buttons are to do with noise, and we discussed these in the first Masterclass video. We have Impact Noise and Exciter Noise, and uh, we can turn them on or off, and we can, uh, we can uh, randomize either one or both of those uh, settings. We also have Object 1 and Object 2, again discussed in the first video. Uh, Since Lab has two uh, objects, each containing up to eight harmonics. Now, currently we've got selected uh, the impact noise and uh, object one, but we can quite easily uh, turn on object two and randomize uh, presets uh, using those parameters. Now while the top line uh, allows us to turn on either object one or two and control the white noise production of the exciter, uh, the second line uh, is dealing with uh, options available within each object. So by enabling options on that bottom line, we are uh, asking uh, Stringlab to create more complex sounds using more uh, options from those two objects. So if you haven't watched the Masterclass 1 video and just want to generate some random presets, uh, this is probably the best place to start. Now if you started from an init patch, uh, then you will have no f effects enabled. But obviously once you've got a sound you like, the best way to uh, enhance that is with the additional effects, which can be accessed using the effects button on the top menu. Now from here we can enable the chorus, uh, reverb, uh, digital delay and overdrive uh, and uh, we can create some quite nice uh, atmospheres using these effects. And if you notice this button in the upper right corner, currently when you click that button it uh, spins the effects window and we've got a graphic equalizer there which we can enable and use. And obviously when you're happy with your uh, new preset, you can go ahead and save that using the preset manager as we showed you earlier. Now if you want to mess around with the colour scheme, uh, we've got you covered. Tap on the main menu and in open window, uh, open the colour scheme editor. Uh, this will let you pick a particular parameter and uh, change the colour of that parameter. Now this is great for creating your own colour schemes or modifying the existing colour scheme. But uh, we have a few defaults for you if you 
long press the menu button you can see uh, a bunch of different color schemes here uh, we have a, an orange set and a nice soothing blue which I quite like uh, passion pink and uh, you can you could choose these you could even change the uh, knob type uh, to give it a different look so uh, yeah the choice is yours now once you've pre-selected a new color scheme or edited a color scheme it will load with that default set of colors you can load and save color sets uh, from the color scheme editor now another thing that i neglected to mention in the first masterclass was object templates now when we toggle between object one and two uh, using these two buttons in the harmonic delay section uh, the harmonic uh, information below will change because uh, each object has its own unique set of harmonics and if we select init patch you'll see that we have just one harmonic enabled for object one which is as simple as it gets now we can manually uh, select to have more harmonics and change the multiplayer and perform inverts and try and find something that is pleasing but we have a bunch of defaults by pressing this uh, object template tab we can put, select one of these defaults and uh, quickly set up uh, like a bell sound or configure the harmonics for a 12 string guitar or even a plucked instrument so we have a handful of these templates which you can either choose from this menu or you can alternatively create your own and uh, save them uh, along with the templates uh, so that you can use them again for future sound design now don't forget that uh, each preset has two objects so we can select a, temp a template for each of the two objects and uh, that takes a whole lot of work out of uh, trying to find the right sound so now we've talked about color schemes and uh, object templates uh, I want to show you a way of backing those up via web transfer and the way we do that is to press this little button at the bottom of the screen and a menu will pop up and basically we just select what we want to uh, back up in this case object templates if I click that object templates you'll see a URL that will appear now as long as your iPad is connected to your PC stroke Mac you can type that URL in your web browser now I am on Mac OS here and if I type this into my Safari web browser this is the kind of interface I get and if I click on the little arrow uh, download arrow at the beginning of the file name it will download those directly from my iPad uh, onto my Mac now you remember the menu we had we can also select uh, color templates or color schemes and download those too so we can back those up or pass them on to other people so that's just about it for this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, please like the video it really really helps and I'll see you next time in the next masterclass video goodbye for now